late breaking news today from the FDA with approval of dabigatran, an oral thrombin inhibitor for prevention of stroke in patients with atrial fibrillation. This has been a highly anticipated new approval and indeed the first approved oral anticoagulant in more than 50 years. Warfarin, as we know, is our mainstay of therapy, but it is a huge headache to use in that it is so variable with the interactions with food and other medications and the incumbent uh, monitoring that is required. Now, dabigatran is an oral thrombin inhibitor um, that's been studied at two doses, 150 milligrams that was approved, and 110 milligrams was also studied in the RELY study as compared with warfarin for prevention of stroke or systemic embolism in patients with atrial fibrillation. At the 150 milligram dose, dabigatran was superior in preventing more strokes or systemic emboli than warfarin. Uh, it also had a lower risk of intracranial hemorrhage, uh, which may relate to less excessive anticoagulation with warfarin. Uh, but uh, it was seen to um, have an equal rate of major bleeding overall. Now, interestingly, a lower dose of 110 milligrams was studied, had equal efficacy to warfarin, but was safer, and yet that dose somehow was not approved uh, by the FDA. And so we'll be looking for some answers as to why not. Uh, but in any case, the higher dose of 150 milligrams uh, will do a better job in preventing strokes in AFib. Now, there are different side effects. Obviously, bleeding is an issue with any antithrombotic agent. Um, dabigatran also caused some dyspepsia because it's absorbed in an acid environment, um, but uh, otherwise was pretty well tolerated in the studies. Now, there is not a need for routine monitoring, and so this will be a big switch if a patient starts dabigatran where they simply take the medication and get an immediate uh, and steady level of anticoagulation. They don't need to come traipsing back to the hospital laboratory for testing. And so it will be a big change in practice overall. Exactly who will start this and, and which patients will obviously be sorted out in, uh, in practice, but is a very exciting new development to have a new therapy uh, that looks superior in efficacy and in some aspects safety than our current mainstay therapy. So stay tuned for uh, further developments in the use of um, this agent and the FDA label uh, on Cardiosource as we monitor this new approval. I'm Chris Cannon for Cardiosource Video News.